Good day, everyone. Welcome to my topic report discussion. I will be reporting two topics for today. The first one will be knowledge management, followed by the high performance work system. So, to start, let me introduce to you myself. My name is Brian Paolo de Macolangan, and let's dive in with my first topic. As we discuss my first topic, let me first introduce to you what are the learning objectives or the coverage of my first topic. So, of course, you will be defining. What is knowledge management? What is the importance of knowledge management in an organization or in human resource department alone? And lastly, we will also discuss what are the advantages or disadvantages of knowledge management. Now, the big question to start my topic report, what is knowledge management? Okay, So knowledge management, by definition, is a systematic approach to getting an organization to make the best possible use of its intellectual capital in order to sustain competitive advantage. Now, another perspective in defining what is knowledge management is that knowledge management is a process of capturing, distributing, and effectively using knowledge. So that was defined by Tom Davenport in 1994. Now, what do we mean by capturing, distributing, and effectively using knowledge? Of course, KM in human resource is anything you use to store and manage knowledge. So these are like files, documents, emails, and many more. Basically, it is any form of communication that conveys important information about your organization. This will help an organization in making a system that makes it easy to learn, summarize, store, and retrieve knowledge within the organization. If you have a knowledge management in your company, uh, this will increase efficiency and increase productivity within the organization. Now, these all can be achieved by working smarter. Now. No, a good knowledge management must have, number one, new technology, number two, transparency, and number three, collaborative culture. Now, there are two types of knowledge that are being exchanged within an organization. The first one is the tacit knowledge. Now, what is tacit knowledge? Tacit knowledge is mostly located within an organization. It is something that is known and experienced, but is difficult to be disclosed clearly and completely. Tacit knowledge is in the mind or brain or inherent in a person to acquire to experience, ideas, perceptions, and expertise in his work. Now, explicit knowledge is different. Explicit knowledge is mostly recorded and documented so that everyone can have access with this. Explicit knowledge can also be interpreted as the knowledge and experience of how to. It is described in a straightforward and a systematic so, concrete examples are manual operations of an engine or the explanation given by an instructor in a training program. Now, what are the purpose of a good human resource knowledge management? Of course, the first one is that it makes organizational information available and accessible to employees and human resource. It also makes it easy for employees and HR to find the right expertise within the organization. A good knowledge management also provides access to a knowledge base that enables lessons to be learned so that the same problem never needs to be solved twice. And of course, lastly, if we have knowledge management within our organization, this will build an in-knowledge sharing. Now, to achieve this, HR must implement a system where information are accessible. This can be through effective documentation, like processing and storing data in a filing cabinet, or through establishing connectivity through LAN or internet, just like a portal. Of course, those knowledge or information must also be disseminated within the employees and the members of the organization, and they must have an, a feedback and continual improvement. Now, what are the pros and cons of knowledge management? So, the first, first we have the advantages. First, knowledge management improves agility because it, it, it promotes faster and quicker transfer of information. Knowledge management also solve problems and make decisions more quickly. It, it can also support employees' growth and development. Specialists can share their expertise. Knowledge management also promotes better communication. It is easier to find, use, and reuse relevant information, and can help, recog and can help recognize market trends and spot problems. Now, the disadvantages is that Knowledge management is not easy. You have to motivate your team to share their knowledge and use the information you've made available. Of course, if they are not compensated the way they want to be, 
but they are not sharing what they know. Secondly, you and your people have to capture and record business knowledge efficiently. Of course, in the knowledge management, you also have to choose and implement a system that works with your company's existing processes and fits with your business strategy. Of course, if we are implementing a new knowledge management system to employees without training them, without informing them how to use this, uh, mas may, may hirapan yung mga employees natin to adapt with the new system. Of course, kailangan gradual, kailangan alam natin na talagang kaya nilang tandaan or accessible sa nila. Lastly, knowledge management is a continuous process. It is not enough for experts to enter their information. They have to go back and update it regularly as things change. Now, in conclusion, human resource knowledge management helps organization in maximizing the value of their organizational knowledge assets. So that concludes my report for knowledge management. Let us now proceed with high-performance work system. Yeah, now, what is the coverage of this second topic? We will be defining what is the meaning of high-performance work system in a human resource department. We will also dive in with the purpose of high-performance work system in an organization and discuss what are the benefits of high-performance work system. So to start, what is high-performance work system? High-performance work system is a set of management practices that attempt to create an environment within an organization where employees have greater involvement and responsibility. Now, designing a, designing a high-performance work system involves putting all the HR pieces together. So that is a key word, putting all the HR pieces together. Of course, the basic principles of high-performance work system in human resource is that there is a shared information. It promotes knowledge development. It involves performance reward linkage. And of course, it promotes egalitarianism. When you say egalitarianism, it promotes equality, so it removes any form of inequalities within the organization. Now, high-performance work system in HR is a specific combination of HR practices, work structures and processes that enhance employee skill, knowledge, involvement, commitment, and adaptability. To achieve this, human resource department must design a HPWS that will create an environment that also adapts with the new technology. HPWS in EHRM, or Electronic Human Resource Management Business Solution, is based on the idea that information technologies can be designed for human resource professionals and managers who need support to manage workforce, monitor changes, and gather information needed in decision making. EHRM system may help high performance work system in HR if they will include some functions like answer basic compensation questions, look up employee benefit information, process candidate recruitment expenses, receive and scan resumes into recruiting software, enroll employees in training programs, maintain training catalog, administer tuition reimbursement, and update personal files. Now, what are the purpose of high-performance work system in human resource? Of course, there is an engagement within your staff. This ensures employees' awareness and personal stake in the organization's vision and its current level of success in pursuing that vision. So example practices are conveying mission and mission, information sharing, employee involvement in decision making, and performance contingent compensation. Also, it helps us acquire and develop talent with your employees. So this focuses on building the quality of the organization's workforce through attention to attracting, selecting, and developing, and developing staff. So this involves practices like rigorous recruiting, selective hiring, extensive training, and career development. There is also an empowerment in security and information technology. So this affects the ability and motivation of employees. Some practices are like employment, security, and stability, status distinctions, and usage of technology. Lastly, there will be an alignment with leaders. So this influences the capabilities of the organization's leadership in running and evolving the organization as a whole. So there, some practices are like leadership role, management training like the organizational needs, succession planning, and again, performance contingent compensation. So these are the outcomes of high-performance work system in an organization. 
if we have high performance work system in our organization, it will promote interesting jobs. Of course, if we have interesting jobs, there will be satisfied workers. Kung meron tayong satisfied workers, this will promote satisfied customers, low absenteeism, and low turnover. Now, kung meron tayong mababang bilang ng mga nag-absent na employees and we have low turnover, this will promote lower costs. Same as knowledge sharing. Uh, in HPWS, there is a knowledge sharing within the organization. If we have knowledge sharing, this will promote greater productivity and innovation. If we are innovating or using the knowledge correctly, ng much higher, we will have much higher quality product or service. Of course, if magandang, we have high quality product and service, this will again promote satisfied customers, resulting to higher sales. And of course, higher sales and great productivity promotes higher profits. Of course, the basic principle of high performance work system is that our outcome must have higher profits. This was illustrated by Dr. Jonathan Westover. Okay, now what are the benefits of having a high performance work system? Of course, this increased value by establishing means to increase efficiency, decrease cost, improve processes, and provide unique services to customers. This also helps organizations in developing and utilizing skills, knowledge, and abilities that are not equally available to all organizations. HPWS is designed around team processes and capabilities which cannot be duplicated or copied by rival firms. And lastly, this system combines the talent of employees and deploys them quickly in various new assignments with maximum flexibility. In conclusion, high-performance work system in our organization doesn't only result to maximizing profit. It also pertains to the enhancement of performance, good relationship, and commitment of employees to achieve common goals. So that concludes my report for this topic. Hopefully, hopefully na niyo yung mga dinuskas natin. If you have questions and clarification, you may comment down on our Google Classroom. Of course, here are the credits or references that I use uh, for me to discuss the topic uh, briefly. And again, that concludes my topic report, knowledge management and high performance work system. Again, my name is Brian Paolo Diardi Makulangan. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.